Welcome back, Cardinal fans, and thank you for tuning in to week three of the weekly Wednesday Cardinal Chirp. Now, before we get to our special guests from the men's soccer team, let's take a look at how the Cardinals did over the weekend. So women's tennis beat Utica 9-0 on Sunday. On Saturday, women's soccer beat Skidmore 2-1 and had two defenders score the first collegiate goals. Junior Amanda Steinman got the first, and senior Jessica Mangieri got the game winner. This week on the podcast, I have men's soccer players, goalkeeper Ryan Wilson and Alex Price. This past weekend, you played Clarkson, ranked 24th. Tell me about it. You want to start, Ryan? You got it. All right. Uh, it was a big game for us, actually. It was a big momentum swing, not, not scoring in the last few games. And to get our first goal right off the bat, 19 seconds in, was huge for us. And just the whole team, really, just to bring our positive attitudes up and really show that we're good at winning and we're gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep coming. So you got a shutout, your third in a row. Yep. Tell me about that. So, uh, yeah, that was a big game, especially because that's uh, our coach's old team too. So obviously he wanted to show up and get the uh, result. But uh, everything's been coming together a little more and more each game. Uh, we're finally starting to score. Offensively, we've been looking better than we have earlier on the season. And uh, honestly, if we keep going like this, good things are going to come. We're, we haven't been letting that many goals, that many good shot-ups. Uh, so it's been going well. So, Ryan, you took a year off. You played for Oneana, took a year off, came to Plattsburgh. Tell me about playing from Oneana to Plattsburgh and how that year off helped you or got your yeah. you back so, together. Uh, I honestly don't think Oneonta was the best fit for me, um, but uh, I, kind of, I, I left originally because I wanted to enlist in the military, so uh, what I've always wanted to do. I thought the timing was good then, but uh, I never got committed to it. Um, I just didn't think I was ready for it and the big commitment itself. And uh, I did want to get my uh, degree first too, I missed soccer, and actually Chris Taylor used to be my club coach back at home. I heard he got the job, so that kind of helped out. Um, the year off definitely matured me up a lot too. I was working crazy hours, working a lot. So I mean, coming back to school is definitely easier transition right now than working full time. So now this weekend you're heading into conference play, uh, playing Brockport and Geneseo at home. Tell me about that. Uh, these two games are going to be huge. These are probably, actually they are the biggest games so far of our season. It's going to be huge. Hopefully we can get a double win right off the bat with the Suniacs, get our points up, and uh, yeah, they're, they're huge games. Heading into the rest of the season, what are you looking forward to most for both of you? Uh, Just getting as many wins as possible, let's especially say that. the league games are coming up right now, so it's definitely the most important part of the season. I'm um, glad how good we've been looking recently, too, because it's a good time to be picking up the game going into Sunies, but we're excited. We're excited to put Plattsburgh on the map. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank perfect. You. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's Weekly Wednesday Cardinal Chirp. Don't forget to follow us on both Instagram and Twitter at P. Cardinals. And also check out our website, GoCardinalSports.com. Go Cards!